Assalamu alaikum. Today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can convert your SAP 2000 model to ETAPS model and vice versa. Uh, this particular thing will be useful to you when you're working with multiple um, projects or models in two different softwares like SAP 2000 and ETABS. And I also faced this problem while I was working on a space frame and I wanted to convert that space frame from SAP to ETAPS and so for that I have found two methods uh, I hope one of these work for you and I'm going to show you now so the first method is uh, that I found is from the computer and structures in official website and they have provided us with a plugin where you can convert your SAP to ETAPS model and vice versa. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go to this link that I will provide in the description box and it's an official way to convert and it's a plugin basically. So you'll go to this page and it will tell you all the details and how to use this plugin and the, all the supported data transfer um, options. So uh, when you scroll down you will come to this download option and you can download any of these uh, plugin versions um, that are compatible with your ETABS or SAP 2000 versions and for me it was this one so I downloaded this one already and I have this one with, with me so I have this um, plugin already installed with me and I will now simply click on it and this plugin um, will launch and here you can see that you can convert from either SAP to ETABS and from ETABS to SAP uh, but for me this method did not work um, I don't know why I have ETABS 17 version and uh, SAP 2004 version so maybe it did not work or maybe it's not compatible with the Windows 11 but you can try this and tell me <laughs> let me know in the comments box so uh, the steps are easy. You can simply read this and follow the instructions from the official website. Uh, but the next method that I'm going to tell you that will definitely work for you. I hope so. It worked for me. Um, I was working with a very complex space frame structure, so it was a curved structure, so it worked for me. Now that I have created a few sample projects, and I'm going to show you. So for the conversion, I have already co created a sample project in this app and simply I will just go to the file menu and then to export and then to this option IFC file. Then I will select this and I'll make sure that it is safe to its right, right destination. So let's click on OK and it says that the sample is written out OK. So click on OK. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to open your ETABS and wait for it. So let's open that SAP sample in the ETABS. Simply just go to the file menu, import and click on this IFC file. and now you will open the same sample file that you have saved in that SAP okay now click on OK and then click on import it will import all the members all the structure members um, in the ETABS model now you can clearly see over here and yes it's it's imported now so this was our SAP sample file and now it's important imported in the ETAPS. So make sure that you have already defined the material and the frame properties in the ETAPS model so you can get the same material and frame properties over here otherwise you have to define it again. And we will do the same for ETAPS now. So we want to make sure that this method works for us. So let's click on OK, No and yeah and let's go to ETAP sample file that I have created so it's a different sample from the one that I have made for SAP
now let's try importing that exporting this file to SAP so simply just go to file menu and just click on this IFC file and we want to save it okay it's in the right direction you can see the file contents are 32 columns and 48 beams click on OK now let's open our SAP and import over here click on browse and we want the ETAP sample so let's import the same 32 and 48 beams yes this works so yeah that's it and I hope you like the video if you have any curious you can comment down below and for more videos like this stay tuned with structure geek